everyone, my name is Lacey and today I have my vendor wax empties and half empties to share with you. There's also some retail wax scents in here. So anyway, let's just get right into it. I'm not sure how long, like what the amount of time was that I've been melting these. It, it's been a while since I've done a video, so there's a good bit here, I guess. Um, and I have been following along with the wax challenge that Patricia Gates is hosting, but I don't have the list or anything here. I don't remember what I melted on what day. So I'm just going to go through everything with you. We'll start with the empties. Um, I have some non-wax empties first. The first thing here is rosy red rosewood sugar scrub from the bathing garden. I think I'm pretty sure that Candy sent me this. Possibly, I'm pretty sure. Um, I loved this. I love this scent. So nice. I love the Bathing Garden Sugar Scrubs. I would definitely purchase that one in the future. Um, I finished up some bath salts in the Wooded Sanctuary from The Witch's Moon. This was a very woodsy scented soak. Mm, yeah, it was good. I really, I really liked this. Um, I, it was my first bath that I've taken since we moved into this house. Obviously I shower, but I just, I haven't used the bathtub at all. So I cleaned the bathroom and I scrubbed the bathtub and I soaked in the tub and it was lovely and I look forward to doing it again. <laughs> okay. Onto the wax I have from Empire Alchemy Lost in the Woods. This is candied cinnamon pecans, pine needles, vanilla ice cream, apple peel, and freshly chopped wood. This was lovely. I really like the little two ounce scent shots from Empire Alchemy. I don't think she does them anymore, but if she were to do them again, I would purchase more. I don't know why, but these perform really well for me and they last a lot longer than the other forms of wax that she has. I wish she would do these again. Maybe she has and I just haven't been paying attention, but this was nice. I would possibly get this again, like I said, if she were doing scent shots. I have one here from Kay. I really need to get a custom order in with Carla. I'm thinking of doing, I don't know, Right now, I start watching, like re-watching all the Harry Potter movies, so I might do a Harry Potter themed custom order. I don't know. I think that could be fun. We'll see. Um, I know Nikki from Nikki's Wax Diary. She had done some Harry Potter customs from Silkies, and they all sounded really good. So <laughs> that kind of makes me want to make some too. <laughs> anyway, Holiday Spice Balsam from K. This is nice. I actually have this in the kitchen and the back room right now. I put it in this morning. This is nice. It kind of reminded me of Rustic Lodge from Scentsy. So if you know what that smells like, this was a little similar to me. It almost had like, um, like a light smokiness and I don't know. It's really nice. I would possibly get that one again. Okay. A few here from Super Tarts. I have King Crow. This is Peppermint and Fierce. This one was, it's one of the squishy clams. I haven't found that this really affects anything. Like the performance is still the same for me, but um, King Crow is, it's more of a medium performer. I find that Fierce tends to be more of a light to medium strength in vendor wax. I love that scent though. It's like my favorite cologne scent in wax, but it's always, it's never like super strong for me. Also, this was um, like a black or really dark gray wax. And I feel like I can smell that dye for some reason, because I always pick up the same note in the super tart scents that have, that are the same color, that like really dark gray or black wax. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I would probably get King Crow again because I've had it before and I really enjoyed it, but I think like, hopefully it would be a different color. <laughs> 
I know it sounds so stupid, but I don't know what it is, but there's just, I, that wax color just smells different to me. Okay, the next one is the Nose Nose. This is eucalyptus and white tea. I'm pretty sure I put this in when we were sick. Oh, so good. I love Super Tart's eucalyptus scents and, and her white tea for that matter. Man, this is good. I can't even describe her eucalyptus. I, I can't describe this to you. It's just so good. It's like so fresh and good. <laughs> Slightly herbal. I don't know. There's something a little herbal about her eucalyptus and her white tea. And that's just, oh, I, that's so good. Okay. The next one is Adam's Family. This is salted caramel, pie crust, and pumpkin cupcakes. This was nice. I liked it. I don't know if I need to get it again because I'm just not like super into bakery or caramel, but this was good. If I had it again, I would melt it and enjoy it, but I don't know if it's one that I need to repurchase. Okay, some Teddy Bees. I have a sample in Christmas cookies. I melted this. I think on Christmas Eve in the tea light warmer. This was nice. It has a very like vanilla bean sugar cookie kind of smell to it. Yeah, I was a little worried about it because lately I've been getting like off-putting scents from some like cookie scents or milky scents or anything like that but I didn't get that here it was really nice I would possibly grab like a souffle of that for next Christmas okay um I finished a souffle of smoke show from Teddy Bees this is marshmallow musk marshmallow fireside and toasted marshmallows I liked this one more every time I melted it like it was just okay the first time I melted it, melted it, and then each time after that I liked it a little bit more. And yeah, it was really good. All the marshmallows are good and go together really well. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase it, but I do like it and it performed well. So maybe I would grab another souffle. I don't know. It took me a while to get through this one. I feel like six twenty three twenty two. Yeah, I don't know if I would need to get that one again. The next one is Morning Cup of Christmas. This is vanilla chai, cranberry chutney, apple marmalade, and hint of fresh pine. I melted this one yesterday, I think. I'm pretty sure. I did like this one. Yeah, it's good. I like the chai with the cranberry chutney and the apple. I didn't get a ton of pine in here, but I did like it. Would I get it again? I don't know because there's always so much that I want from Teddy Bees. So like if this were on the pre-order for next Christmas, I don't know that I would grab it again, but it's nice. All right, I have some Yummer's Delight. The first one here is Autumn Soul. This one, I feel like this might be like cranberry and orange or something like that. It was really nice. I did like this one. I would probably get that one again. Performed well. I usually get good performance from Yummer's. And then this is the one, I did a Yummer's Delight haul. Um, and this is the one that I pulled out of that haul before I actually recorded the haul. <laughs> and I melted this on Christmas morning in the kitchen. It was nice. It was definitely like a sugar cookie kind of scent. Um, it was good. It performed. It wasn't anything like spectacular to me, but it was nice and I enjoyed it while it was melting. I have one here from Birdie's Making Sense. This is one that Krista sent to me. And this is the only thing I've ever tried from Birdie, Birdie's and I really liked it. 
This is It's Time to Spruce Things Up, Blue Spruce, Blue Sugar, and Ultimate Vanilla. This was really good. I would get this one again. Yeah, it was really nice. I feel like I've had scents like this from other vendors, but I really enjoyed it. It performed well. I did this in the kitchen and the back room, and I think I also put some in the entryway because it was it was a lot of wax. It's really nice. I really like blue spruce and blue sugar together, so yeah, that was good. Okay, I have some L3. The first one is eggnog. I love L3's eggnog. It doesn't have like a boozy note to me. It doesn't have a spicy note to me. It has, I can't smell it in here anymore, but it just smells like a glass of cold eggnog from the refrigerator, <laughs> like store-bought refrigerator eggnog. Smells like that creamy, thick, yummy. I love L3's eggnog. I need to get more for next year. I thought I had more, but that was my last trig tart and it was like half of a trig tart. I did that in the kitchen and loved it. Okay, and then I also emptied this scoopable in candy cane eggnog. Love this one too. This was so good. I would definitely get this again. It's that creamy, yummy eggnog and candy cane. And it's so good. Like, so good. That is a favorite of mine from L3, which I think is kind of weird, but I... It's definitely one of my favorites from L3. Okay. And the last of the empties are all Better Homes and Garden scents. The first one is Tinsel and Trees. This is Orange, Mandarin, Green, Cypress, Pine, Herbal, Spruce, Amber, and Mint scent notes. It's nice. I don't always love orange tree scents. Um or just orange in general, but I, I did really like this one. It's definitely very fresh and green and evergreen and orange and a tiny bit of mint, but I feel like it just mostly makes it very fresh. Oh, yeah, this was good. I might have another one of these. I can't remember. Um, I picked up a bunch of the Better Homes and Gardens Christmas scents, and then my friend Katrina gave me a few more like duplicates, which I'm so happy about because I would have just never melted them and just held on to them forever. But since I have two bars of them, I can go ahead and melt them and enjoy them. <laughs> so I'm not sure if that's one that I had a duplicate of or if I just went ahead and melted that one. Now this one, I'm pretty sure I do have another bar of because I feel like I would have hoarded this one Hoarded this one forever if not this is berry mint anise cinnamon and spice scent notes so good I did this in the bedrooms and bathrooms man this is good it really just it smells so much like Christmas time oh, and I bet this would be good if you mixed it with a tree scent also Ooh, or like alternating warmers with black forest pine from Scentsy that would be good yeah, it's all of that. You get everything. Berry, mint, the anise, the cinnamon. And it is just so good. I love this one. Performed well. I hope they bring that one back next year because I will definitely get more of it. Maybe I should check the website and see if I can just order a few bars now just to have them. Okay, and then in my bedrooms and bathrooms, again, that's where I mounted this one. This one was also in the bedrooms and bathrooms. This is Snowy Woods. So I do remember there was a, it might have just been yesterday actually, um, to melt like a snow or cold scent. So I did this in the bedrooms and bathrooms. It's ozone, white pepper, bay, ylang ylang, iris, cedar, vetiver, amber, and patchouli. This is so pretty. It's a very, oh man, this smells so much like something. What does this smell like? 
if you've tried this <laughs> and you know what it smells like, please tell me. It smells like it's like a perfume or something. It's very perfumey to me, but it has all these kind of like earthy notes in it. Man, what is that? I feel like it's a perfume dupe. Or it reminds me of like a specific store at the mall or something. Anyway, this one is beautiful. It's still going in my bedroom. So super long lasting and really, really like the scent. It was very strong yesterday. Today it's more of a medium, which is totally fine. I love that one. I think I have a second clam of that one. <laughs> I hope I do. Okay. On to the half empties. We will start with L3 since it's right in the front. I melted some Strax's acid bath. This is Strax's acid bath. I don't know why I read it again. <laughs> I'm tired, guys. This is Boogie Be Gone Peppermint and Rosemary Mint. I melted this when I was sick. I didn't smell it a whole lot, but it is a very like nose clearing scent. I really think I might have had COVID. We didn't do tests. We just, you know, um, were safe about it. Like I wore a mask to work. I only worked like a four hour shift during the whole time that I was sick. Um, and then for the other days I was just sick at home. So, but I couldn't, I couldn't really smell that at all. I would get like whiffs here and there. But that's a very strong scent, <laughs> and I just couldn't smell it while I was sick. Um, I don't know. You can't even see it, can you? There we go. Okay. Then, also, <laughs> while I was sick, I melted Breathe from Witty Wicks Candles. I believe this is another one that Krista sent to me. This is nice. Um, it performed well. I actually did smell this one in the kitchen. Yeah, I feel like it's, it's like that Vicks Vapor Rub, but like menthol. Mm. I mean, I like this scent in general, but it's really nice when you're sick too. It's a soy wax, so it's like crumbly, but it did really well in my tea light warmer and my bulb warmers in the kitchen. So I did really like that one. I look forward to melting the rest of it. Hopefully not when I'm sick. All right, I have one here from The Melted Moose. This is Santa's On His Way, Balsam Marshmallow Fireside Milk and Cookies. I do really like this one. I melted it in the kitchen. Yeah, it's good. Mm, really like it. <laughs> you get the tree, you get the milk and cookies, like this warm milk and cookies and that warm slightly smoky marshmallow fireside that one's good um i would get that again probably um i'm not sure exactly how you order from the melted mousse at this point i think you just have to message her possibly but i have so much wax and so many vendors and scentsy obviously that i love so i don't know if i need to like try to reach out and get customs from the Melted Moose, but I do really like the scent and her wax performs pretty well for me. Okay, next I have a couple from The Bathing Garden. This is Pomegranate Noir, one of my favorites. I don't know why it's not focusing. This is one of my favorites. I think it's a Tom Ford dupe. Um, it's so pretty, look at it. And it's such a good performer for me. I just cut these, I don't remember where I put it. I don't remember, but I usually cut them in half. You could cut them in thirds too. This is a very strong scent and I really, really love this. Oh, it's like so clean, but it's still like dark at the same time. Man, I really need to get a perfume of this. I still haven't. It's been years that I've been wanting it. I love it. Pomegranate Noir from the Bathing Garden. Highly suggest. It's it's unique. Obviously, it's a dupe, but it's a unique scent and a favorite of mine. 
Okay, the other one is another favorite of mine. I didn't realize I only had that much left. This is a French country Christmas. It's so good. It's tree and vanilla, which I know we see a lot. These are dusty. Um, but ugh, there's just something so good about this one. It's like a thick French vanilla and a beautiful like balsam possibly it's it's really good I need more of that okay a couple from super tarts I have yippee kaye I melt this one every Christmas Eve at least I have for the last I don't know how many years um this is another like sugar cookie and pine needle scent but it's different from other ones I I can't explain it there's just something special about this one I don't know what it is. It's so good. And I know other people feel the same way about it. It's just, it's, it's so good. So yeah, that is a Christmas Eve scent for me. Strong performer, beautiful scent. Love it. And I melted some birds. And this one is Harvest Ale Pumpkin Donuts Brown Sugar and Buttercream. It's yummy. That Harvest Ale, there's something special about that. Yeah, this is really good. Definitely get the Pumpkin Donuts, but you get that Harvest Ale. I don't even know how to describe that. Oh, it's so good. I love birds. Um, and I have a lot left. Luckily I have found for me that super tarts has really good shelf life. So I'm not super worried about any of my like band bags or anything losing their scent. I haven't had any issues with that. So I'm not too worried about like getting through that super quickly or anything. Okay. I have some rose girls and then teddy bees and that's it. So from Rose Girls, I have Ghost Stories. This is Iced Vanilla Woods Bath and Body Works type, um, which is sexy, woodsy blend of vanilla, smoke, lavender, and musk. And then this has vanilla cupcakes and more lavender added to it. This was really good. I was nervous about this one because of the vanilla cupcakes. Like I said, some scents have just been like off-putting to my nose lately. This wasn't at all. Oh, it's so good. I mean, you mostly get the iced vanilla woods, but I do get a little more lavender in here and a tiny bit of that vanilla cupcake note. Man, it's really good though. I really like that. Um, and that, yeah, that was like my, the one I was worried about from that order. And it was so good. Okay, I melted some Karma. This is clean, fresh flannel sheets. The autumn breeze in my hair on the weekend. <laughs> this is nice. Um, my mom liked this one. I forget what she said, but she was like, what do you have in the warmers? She said it smelled good. Yeah, this is nice. It's almost, I don't know what the autumn breeze in my hair on the weekend is specifically but it kind of smells like shampoo to me with those like clean sheets. That's really pretty. I look forward to melting that in like the spring time. I think I'll love it even more then, even though it says the autumn breeze in my hair on the weekend. I feel like I'm going to like that one in the spring. This one was so pretty. Horror flicks and chill ozone fruit, floral woods, and musk. I don't know what it is about this one, but I loved it. Yeah, it was just really pretty. Ugh, and it performed really well in the kitchen. Man, I don't know. This is good. <laughs> and... I, those notes sound very like springtime or summertime, but this does give me fall vibes for some reason. I don't know. It does kind of smell... I don't know. It does kind of smell like getting ready to watch a scary movie in the fall. I don't know. That could just be, like, again, the power of suggestion, but... I'm, I'm 
very excited to mount more of that. Okay, then the last one from Rose Girls is, oh, I have some salt mountain melt in here too. It was tucked away there. Um, the last one from Rose Girls is Sweater Weather. This is, I love Sweater Weather. I'm trying to take it easy this year because I feel like I've overdone it. And I don't wanna not love Sweater Weather. So I just melted a little bit of this one day and it was great. Um, sweater Weather is very strong and especially from Rose Girls, it's very good performer. Yeah, I'm really out of room. Okay, I think that will give us a little bit more room. Hopefully, hopefully it's not blurry though. Okay, I have one here from Salt Mountain Melts in Howling Hollows. This is Smoky Wood, Clove, Cinnamon, Coriander, Cashmere, and Marshmallow Fluff. It's really nice. Ugh, heavy on the clove, which I love. I also get the coriander. and the cinnamon, and the marshmallow fluff, and the cashmere, and the smokiness, but it's not overly smoky. Ugh, that's really good. I like that one a lot. Her stuff is performing really well for me. Um, so yeah, I'll probably, I don't know, I feel like this one is pretty good for winter, but I'll probably hold on to that for fall at this point. Okay, on to Teddy Bees. I have Pacific Northwest Winter. This is fresh snow, pine sap, fresh mistletoe, vanilla balsam, the slight hint of cranberries and burning fireplaces off in the distance. So I was really excited for this one. Um, but it ended up, like I liked it, but it ended up just smelling like this scent that I've had from other vendors. I think the oil is like mistletoe or something. I think it's the mistletoe oil that this smells like to me. Um, I'm assuming there are other things in here, but I think that's what's standing out to me the most. And I like it. I do like it, but sometimes it smells like a wet dog to me. <laughs> but then sometimes it smells really, really good. Um, obviously, I'm going to melt the rest of this. Maybe I can try to finish it up this winter or maybe I should hold on to it and see if it's any different next winter, but it is from March. So it's had a while to cure it and I don't always cure my teddy bees like purposely. Sometimes I'll just melt them right away. I don't know. Um, so yeah, so okay. The next one here is Catacomb of the Witch. This is Dark Plums, Rich Vanilla, Black Amber, Bonfire Bliss, and Vanilla Woods. I really liked this one. Don't always love Bonfire Bliss, but I liked it a lot mixed in here with everything. Yeah, this is really pretty. This is a nice bedroom scent or living room, really anywhere, but it's really pretty. Um, anyway, I wanted to show you guys, and I'm, I know other people have talked about this, but I forgot to put this one in the microwave because usually I've like I've never had to put teddy bees in the microwave, but when I cut it now, it just like crumbles apart. It's just so strange to me because like this one I cut before without microwaving. Like I said, this one was from March and look at it. It's like not crumbled at all. It's full, full chunks in there. So I don't know what happened or is happening because it's been like all of the recent pores are just like crumbling. Anyway, I just started putting them in the microwave and they cut fine. <laughs> I wanted to do like a chop and chat though because I have so much Teddy Bees to chop. Um, but I just hate having to use the microwave during a chop and chat. I'd rather like sit in the living room and just cut everything. And that's why I always like to do it with Teddy Bees because her stuff used to cut so nicely without any microwaving. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do that chop and chat because I don't feel like stopping every five seconds to <laughs> go warm something up in the microwave. Um, anyway, the next one here, like, it's totally fine. Obviously, I'm not going to, like, stop buying her wax or anything. 
um, most wax you have to put in the microwave to cut it smoothly. So I'm, I'm definitely not complaining about that. I'm just saying it, I've noticed the difference. Um, and I don't know what's causing it. Anyway, the next one here is Christmas Pass. This is holiday cinnamon, fallen leaves, crisp apples, crushed pine needles with hints of sweet balsam. I loved this one, but let me tell you what, it reminds me of cinnamon pine cones from Scentsy. Especially on warm, because on, on cold, there's something that I pick up more. It might be the apples, I'm not sure. That holiday cinnamon is real. It's like a warm cinnamon. This is really nice. But yeah, on warm, it really me reminded me of cinnamon pine cones from Scentsy, which I love. Um, so I'm going to hold on to this and melt it next holiday season and see if it still smells like cinnamon pine cones to me. Um... Yeah, and then I don't know if I would buy it again if that's still what it smells like because I love cinnamon pine cones. I will put it in my club and I don't know. This was really good. Let me know if you tried it and did it smell like cinnamon pine cones to you. <laughs> really liked it. Good performer. Would possibly get again. Possibly. All right, the next one is holiday. This is the scent of wreaths, hanging, cookies, baking, winter garland, and warm fireplace. This is really nice. Oh, it's good. Definitely get that cookie. Like, I think I get the cookies first. Yeah, and then a little bit of those, like, greenery notes. Tiny bit of fireplace. I don't get a ton of fireplace in here. Oh, it's so good though. <laughs> this is really good. Um, oops. Yeah, I'll hold on to this for next holiday season, but I, I would repurchase that one, I do believe, in the future. Okay, the next one is I Heart Vanilla Spiced Apples. This is I Heart Vanilla blended with juicy apple, cinnamon, clove, and vanilla bean. I liked this one. I don't think I loved it. It almost smells like... It didn't smell like edible to me. It smelled like a body care kind of. Yeah, and I still kind of get that on cold. I don't know. Obviously, I'm going to melt the rest of this and kind of, I guess, get a better feel for it. But let me know what you think. Does it smell edible to you or does it smell like body care? Because I feel like I was definitely getting body care on that one. Okay. Then I have some tubs here and then we are done. The first one is Christmas Cafe. This is warm breads and pastries, vanilla eggnog, and the slightest hint of spice. I like this one. I don't love it. I don't think I'll get more once this is gone. I don't know. The notes sounded really good to me, but then I didn't love it as much when I actually smelled it. Or I didn't love it as much as I thought I would when I actually smelled it. So once that's gone, and I'll probably just keep this for next Christmas and finish it up then, I probably won't get more of that one. This one, on the other hand, vintage, is cypress and fir needles, plum, fig leaves, cinnamon, cedar, with hints of smoldering woods. I thought I had a whole second tub of this, but I don't, apparently. <laughs> This is so good. I would definitely, I, I will be getting this one again. I will request this one for the next um, like winter pre-order. It's beautiful. You get everything in there. Lots of plum and fig. Oh man, it smells so good. But it really just, it's like a Victorian... Christmas and I love it and I can't believe that's all I have left. I really thought I had a second tub So I will definitely request this one for the next holiday pre-order And 
hopefully people will vote for it. Okay, then I have, like, I almost cried, guys. Look how much this one crumbled because I forgot to microwave it. Oh, no. Um, my husband, like, shoved it back in here because I was like, I don't have any bags to put it in. I can't get it back in here, blah, blah, blah. And he got it back in for me. But, like, I mean, it's all going in the warmer to melt. Um, and I forgot to put it in the microwave. So that was my fault. But this is Christmas is coming. Warm gingerbread cookies, cinnamon sugar pastries, fluffy waffles covered in powdered sugar, hints of cedar and Fraser fur. I like this one. There's something in it that is a little like nauseating to me. I don't know what it is, but I think that goes away more and warm. Yeah, I do like this one. I'm definitely going to let it sit until um, next Christmas time and give it another try then and see what I think. Um, obviously, I have a lot left in here, so I won't like purchase more of it for the next holiday season, but I will hold on to this and try it again next year. I like it. I don't know if I love it. Okay, the last one here is Oh Christmas Tree. This one's so pretty. This one I did remember to put in the microwave. This is balsam fir, frosted juniper, fresh sage, and whipped vanilla. This is very pretty. Yeah, it's really good. It's like a fresh, clean tree scent, slightly cologne. I really liked it and look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. I love the white wax when she does white wax with different colors of glitter. I think it's so pretty, but yeah, this one's good. Definitely get the sage. Mm, I really like it. Just a really like clean kind of Christmas tree scent. So again, I'll probably hold on to the rest of this until next Christmas. I don't know. I might melt a little bit of it in January. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling, but I'll definitely have some of this for next Christmas. And I feel like I would repurchase this one, but we'll see. That is everything that I got through in the last however long it's been. I don't remember, but... Let me know if you have melted any of these scents and what you think of them. What have you been melting and loving or melting and hating? I just want to talk to you guys in the comments. So I hope you're all doing well. Thank you all so much for watching and I will talk to you all later. Bye.